If you ask most people what the name Barrett means to them, it'll probably conjure up images of one of the most iconic 50 caliber firearms ever made, second perhaps only to the Desert Eagle. A gun that single-handedly put the words anti-material on the table, but also a gun that you simply won't see that often in Airsoft. From the shadows of its bigger brother comes a rifle that looks suspiciously like an AR. Well, Okay, it's an AR, but specced with this slick looking M-lock rail, chunky muzzle break up front, and dressed in this gorgeous grey tungsten colour, it's not a bad homage to the M82 that, you know, you can actually use on the field. Newest to the Crytac lineup in partnership with EMG comes the officially licensed Barrett Rec 7 Di, standing for Reliability Enhanced Carbine 2007 Direct Impingement. The real Rec 7 will set you back a cool three and a half grand Canadian. But oh wait, thanks to new gun laws, we won't be able to get one for any price here. So airsoft version it is. But at least it's no cheap consolation prize, and over the years Crytac have developed quite a nice AEG platform, and picking up the Rec 7 it's every bit as solid as you'd expect it to be, coming in at 2.8 kilograms, which is just a little shy of the real thing, which comes in at 3.2. This Rec 7 is the carbine length version with 15 inch rail and 16 inch outer barrel making it a little bit longer than a standard M4A1 at 14.5 inches. For way of reference, this is the exact same length as the Trident SPR as well as the LVOAC. It's also available in short battle rifle or SBR length with a 10 inch rail and 10.5 inch outer barrel making it the exact same length as the Trident CRB. Both models are available in the standard black as well as FDE colors, but of course I have here the new tungsten gray, and let me tell you, pictures do not do this color justice. Nothing against those other colors, but I think Barrett knew exactly what they were doing with this tungsten gray, and it's certainly a nice stable mate to the big boy sniper rifle. It's a more realistic, sort of slightly gritty Cerakote finish, as opposed to the more painted look of the combat grade we've seen before from Crytac. Color matching is perfect between the rail, upper, and lower receiver, and it even perfectly matches that standard sling mount, which I just think looks really sharp. Internally, the Rec 7 will share that same Nautilus mech box as Crytac's other models, along with the latest revisions, including but not limited to that very nice notchy rotary hop-up system, the latest FET unit, and pre-wired to Dean's out of the box, along with a Tamiya adapter included, and Crytac's latest 150 round mid-cap magazines, which is just always nice to see over the standard high cap. Of course, I'm sure you'd like to know what exactly you're getting for your money over a standard Crytag, and of course, being the officially licensed Barrett Rec 7, you do get officially licensed, very nicely engraved, I might add, trademarks on the receiver, on the rail, as well as a nice B on that muzzle brake and on that dust cover. I always like to see nice engraved trademarks over laser etched trademarks. It's a little bit more realistic, a little more wear resistant, and can be colored in if you so desire. Moving on to the Rec 7 M lock rail, we can again see the influence of the M82 with the rounded rectangular cutouts that actually goes really well with those M lock slots. I particularly like this area near the receiver that has this sort of fluted cutout that's perhaps an homage to the fluted barrel on the M82. Near the mounting screws, the rail flares out a bit, and I really like the look of those angles and campering. I just think it suits the rail very well. I'm glad to see the rail interfaces with that upper receiver, guaranteeing a perfect fitment of that taut rail, say, if you want to bridge an optic over that gap. Moving up front, you do get that licensed muzzle brake I was talking about with the little side vents that's perhaps another homage to that iconic M82 muzzle brake. I really like the flat milling detailing on the bottom, top, and sides of that muzzle brake that just adds that little bit more character. Underneath that muzzle brake is of course your standard 14mm counterclockwise thread that we've come to expect. For a final Barrett touch, we have an officially licensed Barrett dust cover with lines that I think actually work really well with this rail. Though it is a molded polymer piece, I was surprised to find that the real Rec 7 dust cover is polymer as well, but either way, it's a nice little detail that I think brings the whole gun together, and those that know, know. 
The Rec7 comes in a unique Barrett adorned box, otherwise similar to Crytek's other packaging that I've long said is one of the best in the business, along with an EMG Barrett card of authenticity. I'm glad to see a very detailed instruction manual specific to the Rec7 with full takedown procedure and that all important exploded parts diagram. So the big question, is the Rec7 worth your money? Now, just like the Crytek LVOA, I'd imagine this gun is somewhat of a tough sell as the Crytek Trident line is essentially the same gun internally for a good chunk of change less. Now, if performance is all you're looking for, I'd say it's tough to beat the value of the SPR, CRB, and PDW. However, I'm sure there's many fans of the Barrett name out there that are just itching to add a Barrett to the collection that's a little bit more usable than the big M82. Sure, this isn't the first Barrett AR on the market. There was the M468 as well as other attempts of the Rec7, but with this one having the official license trademarks and that proven Crytac base, as well as this gorgeous tungsten color, I'd say this one is definitely worth a closer look and is ultimately worthy of the Barrett name. What do you guys think? Good Rec7 or Train Rec7? Either way, let us know down below. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my terrible pun, why don't you go ahead and subscribe for more just like it, and we'll catch you on the next one.